Hey there, James and Jazz here, and we are so excited for the final edition of our series using circular resistance bands. So we have trained each specific part of the body part using these bands. You can find back, chest, arms, and shoulders in previous videos, and today is all about how to train the legs using circular oh. resistance bands. This is an instructional video. It's not a full length video, but James will be giving you all the great tips and form on how to train your legs using these bands. And today we are also featuring snake curl feet attachments. It makes it yeah. so much easier to do additional exercises. Yeah. And also shout out to Sheik for oh. taking our workouts to the next level. So today is going to be all James. So I'm going to hop out of the frame and then I'll just meet up with you guys at the end. All right. So we're going to get going with this legs workout using these circular resistance bands. And of course I've got my chic knee braces on. I love do using these for leg day, especially actually when I go on heavy, heavy leg days, I love to have them for heavy leg press, heavy squat. I wouldn't necessarily need them today, but depending on how bad your knees are, you might want some good chic knee braces uh, for your workout. Also, I have the snake curl. You can see I already have it under one of my feet. I'm gonna show you how to put them on later in the workout. So when that time comes, I'll put it on my under my other shoe. So we're gonna start with circular bands, circular resistance bands, squats. So simply step on the bands at about shoulder width apart or whatever works for you in terms of how heavy your bands are. And you're gonna notice I have a bunch of other bands right over here. So if this resistance wasn't enough for me, I have all these other bands that are heavier. And then I also, if it's too heavy, I have these bands here that are lighter. So I'm sticking with some lighter bands just to show you these exercise demonstrations. But yes, you're gonna step on them about shoulder width apart with your feet. And then you're gonna bring the bands up like this and you're just simply going to squat down and up. Allowing your butt to drop back, keeping your chin up, keeping your chest up. Like that. Going so that my butt is about parallel to the ground. There you go. Squats are a great way, it's a great core exercise, great way to warm up, honestly, pretty much all of your legs. Just you'll feel the nice burn in there. I encourage you, depending on the weight of your bands, you might want to stick around 20 reps, 20, 18, 15 for reps, three sets of that. If you're looking to go heavier, you want to really add some mass, then you're going to want to go much lighter weight. And you're probably going to want to focus more on a, a, a workout in the gym in that case, because it's going to be hard to push yourself quite that hard with these circular bands. Um, Next exercise I want to show you actually will begin to incorporate our snake curls. So I am going to show you now how to put those on. So they are just going to go, you're going to pull your shoe off. You're going to put the snake curl, wrap it around your foot like this, and then you're going to slide your foot into your shoe like that. So might be asking yourself, what is the point of this snake curl? Well, the exercises we're about to do, if I didn't have the snake curl, the bands could end up sliding up my legs. So we're going to, let me see here. We're going to do a leg extension next. So first I want to show you, you can wrap this around something that is steady. So this weight rack is very heavy. So I'm just going to bring it around like this. And then I'm going to pull it through like that. This is a really heavy weight rack. There's heavy weights on it. I'm not worried about it moving, so I know I'm okay. So now I'm going to bring my foot through like this. And I can put my snake curl. You're going to pull this band out, out of that uh, chrome bracket. And then just come back down over this and through like this. So now that's in there solid, it's not coming out. I also have to do the same thing on the other side. Sorry if my sound is really loud right now. I'm gonna pull this out, bring the band through. I know it takes a little bit of time, but 
I'm going to move this out of the way now. So right now I have it so the band is running in front of my foot. So any exercises that I'd be facing this way, that's the way I want it set up. Later I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do it the other way because I'm going to be doing some exercise where I want to do curls. So this is really great for a leg extension. So these aren't going to slide up my leg now because they're wrapped into the leg to the snake curl. So boom, there's my leg extension just like that. I bring this up so it's about parallel to the ground and just extend forward. Whew. Great way to engage those quads. Boom. <sighs> Breathing out as I kick up. Whew. So again, feeling it right here in those quad muscles. The next exercise, since I have it set up this way, I wouldn't necessarily do this order, but it's much easier to do this order when I'm set up with the bands like this. So now I'm gonna do a hip flexor exercise called a sprinter and the hip flexors are up here. So I'm gonna stand like this, boom, and then I'm gonna kick, bring this leg forward and kick it up like this. Whew. See how I'm switching my hands as well? Just like I'm sprinting, boom. Whew. Whew. Breathing out as I come up with the leg. So again, feeling that in the hip flexor. For both of those exercises, don't forget to train the other one. So you'd wanna pull this off, put it on the other leg. Since this is an instructional video, I'm not gonna show you both. You get the gist of how to do it. So now I'm gonna pull this off because now we're gonna be doing exercises where it's more convenient to have it behind my legs. So I'm gonna slide this out and I'm actually not even gonna use I guess I could still use this. So it'd probably be more convenient if I did it on the front leg though. So I'm just gonna wrap this back around. I'm gonna show you with the other leg because then my leg is facing the camera. So coming up, bring this out. I want my leg to be in like this so it goes behind my foot by my heel. Now I'm gonna wrap this around just like I did last time. So it goes right there, bring it through here. Now it's in there nice and tight. Okay, so the next exercise is a leg curl. Great for those hamstrings. So we've hit quads, hip flexors. Now we're gonna hit hamstrings. So step out as far as you need to step. Again, if you need a different weight, you have the different weight options. But if you want more resistance, you step further back. If you want less resistance, you step further forward. So that's another option. I can hold my hand here for support. I'm just simply going to curl back like this. Boom. Feel that in my glutes. <sighs> Breathing out as I bring my heel to my butt. <sighs> I really feel those glutes engaging. Great. All right, so the next exercise, we'll do some glute presses. It's a great way to really, so there I felt a lot in hamstrings. Um, now I'm gonna do a glute press back where I'm really gonna feel my glutes engaging. So I'm gonna bend over, come like this, might come forward a little bit more, and then kick back. It's nice to have something to put my hand on there too. I have my hand on the wall as well. I'm coming forward, bringing my knee forward, and I'm just kicking back through my heel. So feeling that in the booty, y'all. Feeling that in the glutes, a little bit in the hamstrings as well. Quite honestly, somewhat a little bit in the quads too. All right, and the final exercise is going to be a side leg raise. So it's going to look like this. You're going to step out. And this is the most awkward one, but it still works. It's still around that way. So for me, I couldn't figure out which side of the foot it needs to be on, but I think this is the best side to have it running along the back side. And so now we're going to hit that outer quad, the, or the, the, uh, the outer thigh. So you're just simply going to raise up like that. I might even step in a little bit further. There you go. 
Really feeling that in the outer thigh. All right. So I'm going to unhook that real quick. Step out. So hopefully that was good enough for y'all. There's five great exercises that you can do to hit the legs using those circular uh, resistance bands. Again, if you want to find the product, go to Instagram and find them. Uh, their Instagram page is Snake Curl. So really great product. Like I said, if I had these wrapped around my leg without the Snake Curl, as soon as I would curl like this, those, those circular bands would slide up my calf muscles. So not good. So it's nice to have Snake Curl to keep them in place. They were nice enough to send me these. I said, hey, send them to me and I'll film a great video for you. And uh, they hooked it up. So I really like the product and it's a way that, that will help me to be able to work out at home using some circular resistance bands and still get a great leg workout. So I encourage you to go check those out. And don't forget, go to chic.com, check out a lot of their amazing products. But that'll do it for this leg workout. I'm gonna go ahead and bring Jazz back on to the set and we'll do our closing statements. We hope you enjoyed today's instructional video on how to train those legs. You better be sore tomorrow. <laughs> so if you really enjoyed this series and you'd like to train the other body parts using the circular resistance bands, check out our other videos on how to train the back, chest, arms, and shoulders. Yeah. So another shout out to Snake Curl and you yes. can find them on Instagram. And also another shout out to Sheik for being amazing. Yes. Great knee braces, Love knee them. support. And so what else do we have to share with them today, yeah, babe? I do want to tell you, you can find Snake Curl on Instagram under Snake Curl. It's nothing special. It's just Snake Curl, very simple. Um, and there's a ton of other products you can find on chic.com, S-C-H-I-E-K.com. You're going to find gloves. You're going to find belts, all kinds of different equipment for using in the gym. So I encourage you to check that out as well. Um, beyond that, y'all, we don't just film physically fit videos. When you go to jamesandjazz.com, click on that videos tab, you're going to see three different sections of videos. The first section is spiritual videos. Uh, we do a Bible study with us where we focus on a chapter in a video. We've done the book of James, John, Philippians, Galatians. So I encourage you to check those out. And we've also done a lot of topical stuff too. A lot of people will send us questions or topics to do a video on, a spiritual video on. So a lot of really great topical videos as well that I encourage you to check out. The second section of videos, when you click that videos tab, is physically fit videos. You're gonna see instructional videos just like the one we filmed today, where we just show you the exercise, you take screenshots, take notes. Uh, we have those with dumbbells, with resistance bands that have the handles, with um, kettlebells, and, and then obviously with these circular bands as well. So I encourage you to check those out. And then beyond that, we have full length workout videos using dumbbells, using resistance bands with the handles. We have cardio in place. I encourage you to check those out. If you want a full length workout where we instruct, we're instructing you all the way through, I think you'll really enjoy those. And in our third section of videos is life and relationships. So the life part of it is to help you to get to know us better. Uh, we show you some monumental moments. We show you some fun events that we've done, a lot of fun trips, things like that. So it's a great way to help you to get to know us better. And then we also have the relationship side of that where we want to help you to have healthy relationships. So uh, we do a lot of great topics uh, to help you to do that. So check those out. And if you want to be in the know what, what James and Jazz is up to, what we're up to, and when we're putting up videos, one of the best ways to do that is follow us on social media. So when you're on the homepage of jamesandjazz.com, you're going to see those social media icons at the top and the bottom of the page, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, be sure to follow and like and subscribe to those. Yes, and if you scroll to the bottom of our website, jamesandjazz.com, you'll see where you can subscribe to our email list. Yes. Right next to that is how you can book us to speak at an event, whether it's conference, church, school, give us the details and we'll get back to you. At the top of our website, you'll see the donate tab. First of all, thank you for partnering with us for our ministry in prayer. Thank you. Secondly, we just want to give you the opportunity to partner with us financially. Obviously, no obligation or pressure because all of our videos are given to you completely for free. But if you are like, James and Jazz, thank you so much for this workout series. It's been great. Here's $10. Thank you and keep going. We will gladly appreciate and receive that. Yeah. So uh, we're normal people. We have bills like everybody else and we would love to do this full time. Yeah. 
So we'd love to give you high quality content. So every donation helps. And right next to that tab is the courses tab. So all my Christian ladies, please check that out. And that is all the information I have for you. Well, thank you all so much once again for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you more on jamesandjazz.com.